Hi, I'm Matthew Pierce, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up a Netgear wireless router to a cable modem. Now, I have here a cable modem. It's got connectors back here for the coax cable and for the Cat5 network cable that you use to hook up the modem to the internet and to the router. I've also got a router right here, and it's got a cable or a Cat5 connector back here that says internet on it. The yellow one in the back of my Netgear router says Ethernet, and that's where you hook a Cat5 cable from the modem to the Netgear uh, router. So the first thing you want to do is hook your, your modem to the Internet. You'll use a coax cable that will go between your house jack and the modem. Hook it up, and then you'll take a Cat5 cable like this right here. You'll put one end into your modem. And it typically just has, that's the only connector it has. It doesn't have another one. And then take the other end, put it in your router in that yellow jack I just showed you. Now you're ready to power things up. So the first thing you want to do is power up the cable modem. And you're going to want to give it at least 30 seconds to come up and get ahead of the router. Um, it's even better if you let it power up all the way. Your lights in along the front here, You'll, you'll have a bunch of them and they'll probably come up yellow or red. Um, and then as the, the cable modem makes connection with the cable company and syncs with its servers, those lights will turn from yellow and red to blue and green or you know some combination of blue and green. Those generally mean everything's A-OK -okay and ready to go. Then once that's going, then take your router and turn it on. And sometimes they'll have an on off button and back. A lot of times they don't because these pieces of equipment aren't designed to be power cycled frequently. And so what you do is power up your router and the same thing will happen. It'll come up with red and yellow lights along the front. Um, typically it'll have lights that indicate what the wireless transmitter is doing and what the other uh, network jacks are doing. And it will come up in um, red and yellow and then as it makes connection with the router and establishes a connection into the internet then its lights will turn blue and green also and when everything's blue and green then you're ready to uh, connect up with the netgear router and start using it and typically the way you'll want to do that is plug in another cable from your router into your pc and then log into address using your browser log into 198.1 192, excuse me, 192.168.1.1. That's the default admin address for a Netgear router. And your pass or your user account for the admin will be called admin, and your password will be password by default. And then you can log in and configure your router from there. But first, you got to establish a connection from your modem to the router using the Cat5 cable. And once everything's up and going, you should be able to configure it. My name is Matt Pierce. Thanks for watching.